A while ago, I did a video on why mirrors can be your best friend and upgrade your boxing game. So it should come as no surprise that recording yourself can do the same thing and a couple extra benefits that mirrors simply can't do for you. That's what we're getting into today. Let's cue the intro and we're going to get right into it. Mirrors allow you to watch your technique, improve your skills, and hone in on those deficiencies so that you can correct them. Guess what? Recording yourself comes with all of those same benefits and a couple more that mirrors can't provide. Let's be honest, mirrors are stationary. You have to stay right in front of them and you can't move too much to be able to watch yourself. You don't need to do that when you're recording yourself. You can turn away, you can pivot, you can use your footwork. All you have to do is stay within frame and you can see everything. It's like gaining an extra set of eyes. And that's a huge bonus that mirrors just can't provide. I record a lot of my work, a lot of my training for the channel and that should be pretty obvious. However, the second reason that I record all my work and arguably the most important it's so I can study myself. You can go back and watch your drills, watch your training, watch your mitt work, bag work, sparring, all of it, but from a new perspective. And that allows you to study yourself. It allows you to find those deficiencies. It allows you to see what you're doing wrong, where you want to improve. And then guess what? You can focus in on drills that can improve that. You can say, I can see that this technique is sloppy. This is where I need to improve. Maybe you're picking up on some bad habits. Your coach can watch you all day but you can only see it once. You record yourself, then you can see it, he can see it, you guys can go back and study it. If you wanna do it together or alone, it doesn't matter, right? It's just the idea of studying yourself, sitting down and watching. Watching those little habits that your opponents are gonna be watching for, right? Everybody has them, everybody has something, a weakness, something that they're doing that they shouldn't be. It's your job to try to fix them, to learn and fix. This alone will step up your boxing game. If you just go to class and the minute you leave class you brain dump all that information, then you're doing yourself a disservice. My one-on-one -on -one sessions that I have with my coach, I record them, I go back, and I watch them, I study them. It gives me a chance to see what he was saying when he was explaining, I can hear it again. I can see where he said that I was doing something wrong, and then I know how to fix that. I can go on and on, but the point is, by studying yourself, you're allowing yourself to unlock a new door that's going to get you closer to mastering your skills. The last topic I'd like to hit for this real quick is that it allows you to see your progress, you know? Seeing progress over time is exciting. You're putting in a lot of hard work. You're putting in the tedious hours, right? All this effort is going towards this. And you can, you obviously know you got better, but being able to see it, that's a game changer. It comes with a new sense of motivation, a new sense of confidence and pride that you can carry with you because you can compare the two videos. It's kind of like when those infomercials used to show the before and the after picture, and you're like, oh, I need to get on that. I need to do that. That's all it is. It might just be a little bonus, but that shit gets me motivated to see where I came from, to see where I'm at, and then kind of think of where I'm going to be. After putting in all that work, doing all the things you don't want to do just to get a little bit better, this is a nice way to smell the roses and reward yourself and just think that you're getting somewhere. Keep putting in the work because it's, it's not over. The work's not over, but your reward's not there either. You're not at your goal. Keep putting in the work. It'll be worth it. Hopefully this inspires somebody to record their work. Almost all of us have phones that are camera capable and it's easy to set up and record and most people won't mind if you're doing it because you're studying yourself. As a competition boxer, you need to be studying yourself. If you're a recreational boxer, that one's up to you. But if you really want to get better, study yourself. Boxing is not all just strength, conditioning, in the ring, toughness, you know. It's a lot of mental. There's a lot of smarts that go into it. It's a sweet science, right? Floyd Mayweather always says it's all up here. It's not about this. It's up here. So we need to be studying and recording ourselves gives us the chance to study. What are your thoughts on recording yourself? Let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching Punch Club Media.